title volume. Specifically set title volume versus measured title volume. So I'll be talking about title volume as a setting for mandatory breaths. for volume control ventilation. And this can be either volume control CMV or volume control IMV. Now mathematically, if we want to look at the components and think mathematically of tidal volume, Tidal volume equals my inspiratory flow times my inspiratory time. And that's all tidal volume is if we needed to figure that out mathematically. However, with ventilators these days, uh, yes, sometimes we set uh, uh, inspiratory time. And sometimes we set a flow rate. But uh, however, most ventilators, when you put it in volume control ventilation, you're always going to set a tidal volume. And that's going to be constant. And I just noticed that my pen, or is my highlight, it's not really showing up on the screen. So my tidal volume is going to remain constant. And based on my tidal volume, and my inspiratory time setting or my respiratory rate setting, everything that I'm Now if we look at a ventilator screen here, we are in volume control ventilation. So this little area here on the top right portion of the screen just says CMB. And each ventilator, which is kind of frustrating, each ventilator has its own terminology. There's no standardization. So they'll call their modes different things. But this is going to be volume control. As you notice, I have a setting for tidal volume here. So I have a fixed tidal volume. And let's just show another example. So this is another manufacturer, another ventilator. And they actually named the mode itself volume control, as you can see in the top left corner that I'm highlighting. It says volume control, and we do have a setting for tidal volume. So how one should one actually set tidal volume? A tidal volume can be set various ways, uh, but the most important thing is always use ideal body weight. So we want to use ideal body weight versus actual body weight. So in neonates and pediatric patients, the range is anywhere from four to seven milliliters or cc's per kilogram. And it all depends on the disease process also. If um, they have stiffer lungs, we're going to use um, the smaller tidal volume. And if they have more compliant lungs, then we might use the larger tidal volume. So other ways we can set tidal volume um, for adult patients is based on the plateau pressure. too because you'll have different plateau pressures for different um, pathology in the lung. So if your plateau pressure is under 25, you measure and it's under 25, then for adults then your tidal volume can be less than or equal to 10 cc's. And that's per ideal body weight. And if the plateau pressure is anywhere from 25 to 30, then approximately six to eight cc's or milliliters. They're interchangeable. And if your plateau pressure is greater than 30, then a tidal volume of anywhere from four to six, six, four to six cc's, sorry.
Now I'm just going to show an ideal body weight chart. It's nice to have these cheat sheets. And what I've done is, in various places I've worked, I've made these up and put them actually on the clipboards on the ventilators or attached them to the ventilators themselves. So you can easily set um, your tidal volume based on an ideal body weight. And I'm just going to use myself for example. So I kind of highlighted it. And I'm going to just change my highlighter color so it stands out. So I'm actually 5 foot 9 inches. So that's uh, 69 inches in height. And as you notice, my ideal body weight is 71 kilograms. However, I do not weigh 71 kilograms. I weigh more likely 100 kilograms. So if one would actually set the ventilator per my actual body weight, which is 100 kilograms, and they're basing on 10 milliliters, I would be getting a liter. So that is a very huge title. Notice this chart's nice because it breaks it down into my tidal volume, how many cc's per kilogram. So if everything was alright with me, no pathology at all, I could start in that 10 cc range or under. And as you notice, if I just highlight that that my tidal volume would be 700 milliliters, way under the one liter. That's tidal volume.